The DJI RC Pro is a fantastic controller, and as I mentioned in an earlier video, the primary reason I switched to it was the ability to install third-party apps. But installing those third-party apps is not as straightforward as one might think. And although there's more than one way to accomplish this, I'm going to show you the simplest and safest way I found to install these third-party apps in 10 easy steps. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Joe from Ghost1917. In a previous video, I showed you how I transferred my footage from my RC Pro to an external SSD. Well, we're going to use the same method to install third-party apps onto our RC Pro without having to use the web browser or installing the Google Play Store, which quite frankly, doesn't work very well. Let me say right up front, this is not the only way to install third-party apps onto your RC Pro. It's just the simplest, cleanest, and safest way that I found. I first attempted to install the third-party apps following another YouTuber's video where you use the installed web browser to install an APK downloader onto the RC Pro and then use the downloader to install the third-party app. And while this method does work, I found two problems with it. One, you now have another application on your controller taking up valuable storage space. But more importantly, most APK downloaders are laden with pop-up ads. I found this out the hard way. While flying an autonomous mission, I suddenly had a pop-up ad on my controller screen, completely obscuring my view of the flight. Yeah, talk about nerve-wracking. Not wanting to repeat this experience, I searched for another way to install the apps that I wanted on my RC Pro. Having successfully used my external SSD to transfer files to and from my controller, I thought, why not use it to install my third-party apps? which would keep me from having to install the APK downloader onto my controller. So I did some experimenting and found a pretty straightforward way to accomplish this in 10 easy steps. Step one, connect your SSD to your computer. Step two, use your web browser and locate the APK for the app you want to install. I also should point out that in some cases you can get the APK directly from the application developer, such as DroneLink, the mission planning app I use. In which case, you simply install the app directly to your controller using the web browser. But for this demonstration, I'll use UAV Forecast from an APK download site. And remember, we're simply downloading the APK, not the APK downloader. Step three, download the APK to your download file. Step four, drag and drop the file into your external SSD. Step five, disconnect your SSD from your computer and reconnect it to your controller. Step six, use the Files app to locate the external SSD. In my case, it's my Samsung T7. Step seven, locate the download file containing the APK file. Step eight, using the three dots, move the APK file into your controller's download file. Step nine, navigate back to your controller's download file and click on the APK file. You'll get the vulnerable to attack warning. Just click continue. Step 10, click install and presto, your third party app is now on your RC Pro without the pesky APK downloader or any other unnecessary software. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comment section below what method you use to install third-party apps on your RC Pro, or if you have any questions about the method I used in this video. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.